this is Gary Fox again, and today we're going to talk about more about the Cartesian coordinate system. Okay, last time we learned how to map points onto this to this system. Today we're going to learn how to get from one point to another, and that's called a vector. And there's three ways, there's two ways at least that I know of, on how to uh, define a vector. And we're going to learn the easy method today. Uh, and I will show you where we're heading toward the harder method in the future. And the easy method is the first step even on the harder method. Okay, as we're looking at this Cartesian coordinate system, let's right now imagine it's a true map of a city. And we're at the... Uh, Point zero zero right now. We're right there at the two main streets, the north-south one and the east-west one. And we're wanting to tell somebody how to get here to point one. We would say go east two blocks, north four blocks. And that's exactly how we're going to give these instructions. So everything, this first vector, everything that we're going to do is done just as if you had to only go straight north, south, or east, west. So we'll look at that, how we do the very first point, and how we would do it mathematically. So I'll bring up this first, uh, display I have here. Okay, if you want to calculate the distance from one point to another, or the instructions, the way you would do it is you calculate the x distance by taking the x of the point you're going to and subtract from that the x value of the point you're going from. Same thing for the y, you just keep them straight. y distance is equal to the y of the point you're going to and you subtract the point you're going from. And this will be written as a vector and in this particular vector, the way they do it, they write I for the X direction, a small I, and J for the Y direction. So we'll do an example. Go back to our point one that was that we had on the graph. And it's located at point at the coordinates of two comma four. Two in the X direction, four in the Y. The distance from the origin, which is at zero zero to point 1 is x is equal to 2 minus 0 which equals 2i so we did the front the two point the point we're going to minus the point we're going from the y is equal to 4 minus 0 which equals 4j so our vector which I just got that little hat over top of it uh, that tells you it's a vector is equal to 2i plus 4j. Alright, we'll do another example here. So let me close this screen. And we'll do the example of um, we're going from point 1 right here at 2 comma 4 to the uh, point that we're going over here is point 2 which is at minus 7 comma 0. And let's see, before we do that, let me show you what that path was that it looked like. This was the path that we took going from, uh, from the point zero to the, or from zero, zero to point one. So you can see, we would give the instructions, you go two blocks east, four blocks north. Okay, now we'll do this one where we're going from point one to 2, which I'll go ahead and show you what that's going to look like. We'll turn off the one we just did. You see that we'll go so far west, and then we'll go some south. How much? That's what we're going to calculate. So we'll use that example. Okay, I have the same instructions written here on the top of this, but our example 2, point 1 is 2 comma 4, point 2 is minus 7 to 0, so the distance from point 1 to point 2 is minus 7 minus a positive 2, which makes it a total of 9, minus 9, we're going in the uh, 
westward direction, moving from right to left, and y is equal to 4 minus, or 0 minus 4, because y value of the second point is 0, and we got 4, positive 4, and we have to subtract that, so that gives us minus 4. Our vector is minus 9i plus minus 4j. Let's go look at the picture, and let's see if that's what it looks like. So we're starting here. We're going to go in the minus direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we go in the minus direction and the y direction. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we now have a way of giving instructions on how to get from one point to the other. Okay, when you're thinking of a vector, you're not normally thinking from listening to movies and, and all that sort of stuff. You're usually thinking of somebody flying a helicopter or flying an airplane, and so they're going to go directly toward it as a bird flies. So we will look at what I'm calling the bird path, and that would end up being a vector in this direction. Okay, we got two problems with that vector. First, we're going to have to figure out how long it is. So we're going to have to take a side issue, side trip on that, and learn something called the Pythagorean Theorem. And that will tell us how long it is. Then the second thing we do is we need to tell it what direction to go. And we have about two more videos on trigonometry to explain that. So we got some stuff ahead of us. We'll do the same thing for our path, the first path I had. You see in that one there, again, we've got a, a bird path, a bird flight path, and uh, we would have to uh, calculate both the length and the direction that we would go. Direction would be, well, where we tell the pilot of the helicopter what direction to take off. He's going to fly just like a bird, or if it was a homing pigeon or whatever. They don't fly following the, uh, the blocks of the uh, city. So that is uh, where we're heading next. Anyhow, I think I pretty well did this one. It's, uh, it was kind of short. I originally was going to hop directly into Pythagorean's theorem, but I decided that that's probably too much at one time. So, uh, hopefully you got something out of this. We're taking baby steps. Baby steps is probably the uh, best way. Appreciate you listening. This is Gary Fox of Green Way.